Yes. So we have studied magnetic properties of solids. We have also studied diamagnetic, para, ferro, anti ferro, ferry magnetism. Now let us come back to the electrical properties of solids. So basically electrical properties of solids, I already said, you'll be studying in depth of the topic in your physics uh, subject. But here we are just going with the basic information. In electrical properties, we are going to use a theory called band theory. <coughs> band theory. Right. We very well know we have three categories, right? Conductors, insulators and semiconductors, right? I'm just going in terms of chemistry, semiconductors, right? So, conductors, insulators and semiconductors, according to band theory, if I speak, now, um, what actually is this band? Fine. Now, I have to know what actually is this band in terms of an element. Suppose if I speak one basic example. Okay, I am taking one lithium element. Right. Now, this particular lithium element, let me number 3, 1s2, 2s1. Right. Now, this 1s2, you have both paired. In your 2s1, there is only one electron. Atomic orbitals. When they intermix together, oh, what am I writing? Your atomic orbitals, when, when they intermix, they form molecular orbitals. You have studied, right? Linear combination of atomic orbitals, LCO theory in grade 11. So, according to LCO theory, when two atomic orbitals intermix with each other, they form molecular orbitals. This molecular orbital is your band. Remember that. So, this molecular orbital is your band. So, with that band, I am going to explain you the band theory. Yes? Right. Now, let me write. So, every uh, either conductor or insulator or semiconductor, they have two types of bands. First band <coughs> is called your valence band. Okay? This is called valence band. Valence band. It is not bond, it is band. Above the valence band, you have one more band called conduction band. Remember, this is called conduction, conduction band. Two things, right? These are all atomic molecular orbitals joined. So, there is one sleek line that is very thin, very thin. I should not even make this gap. Very thin or sleek line in between these. This is called forbidden gap. Forbidden gap right fine so this is your energy this is your energy <laughs> level okay now observe carefully so in conductors right we very well know example of conductors or metals right high metal we i already said <coughs> metals are highly electro they they because of the release of electrons they start conducting current right or they start conducting thermal also heat also so these metals have electrons in their valence shell now when this metal is heated right now i'm starting or uh, i started heating this metal right or i'm st i've started uh, supplying some uh, current current to this immediately these electrons from the valence band they can easily or jump into the conduction band they easily escape into the conduction band when they're escaping automatically we know the conductance of the metal increases Yes or no? Because it's when I supply <coughs> the gap between the conduct valence band and the conduction band is very less, almost I should say negligible. That is why we call it as this gap. I am calling it as okay energy gap. Okay, I am writing it as EG. EG is zero, almost negligible. Because of this negligible gap, when this is heated or this particular thing, the electrons from the valence band go to the conduction band and start conducting. That is the reason conductors or metals are good conductors in nature. Their metals are called good conductors. Now, when I speak about insulators, I very well said, again you have valence band here and you have in insulators a large gap of the conduction band. Right? Now, how much is this gap? If I speak, EG is greater than 3 electron volts. It is almost, if I be specific, it is almost 15 electron volts. The energy gap is 15 electron volts in insulators. Now you have here also electrons, right? Now, what happens because of this wide gap in between conduction and uh, valence band and conduction band, the insulators are not able to conduct current, right? What is the best example? Plastic, right? Plastic is an insulator, wood is an insulator, rubber is an insulator. So let us write the example. Example, plastic. 
insulator because the cap is large wood is an insulator cap is large right rubber is an insulator gap is large now because of this wide gap in between it is more than 3 electron volts they, these electrons can't enter into the conduction band so they don't conduct electricity let me come to semiconductors as i said again semiconductors also have two bands one is your valence band and one is your conduction band now when i compare this and this let me see the energy gap here it is how much greater than three electron volts here the energy gap between this is less than three electron volts like compared to this very less so that is the reason we dope impurities into the semiconductors where we call it as n type and p type semiconductors so because of this less energy gap now this is your valence band and this is your conduction band immediately at least compared to this the electrons when <laughs> doped right or when these are present when it is heated at least fewer electrons n type semiconductors fewer electrons escape into the conduction band i should not write more fewer electrons where holes occupy these spaces and there is certain amount of conductivity so this is your conductor man semiconductors so examples as we very well know famous example silica silicon germanium where we dope impurities group 13 and group 15 remember yes now one question was asked yes see <coughs> if i speak about electrical conductivity in all the three right now observe when i increase the temperature yes i'll explain this question also when i increase the temperature electrical conductivity decreases remember in conductors i'll tell you why this also board may not ask you all these but if they want you to question this is where they're going to question you here electrical conductivity when i speak right does it elect conduct electricity no when i increase the temperature also very possibility is very very less because it is more than 50 electron volt when i increase the temperature conductivity is still less means not not seen like very less not if i effectively say not seen in semiconductors when i increase the temperature yes because the gap is very less conductivity increases here it decreases here it increases remember that i'll explain you a question next video